Jij hebt mijn betten. Eén even in de slogan. Van de Marokkaanse slogan. Van de Midwest, van Chicago. Harab, Daniel, Matskowit. Zal er opkomen en zeggen een paar woorden. Harab, Matskowit. I got Yom Tiv L'chaim. When a chosid looks into the Shulchan Aruch to find out how to celebrate Reish Chedish Kislev, there is no question that the celebration is not one just of talking, but one of action. A few months ago, there were two people who came to 770 on a Sunday morning. And these two gentlemen walked into 770. They were looking around. And they came up to a younger man and asked him, where is the line for blessings? The younger man looked at the two people. At first he didn't know what they were talking about until it dawned upon him that they were talking about where is the line for dollars? So he said, the line for dollars starts right over there. The two people walked away from the younger man and the younger man overheard how they were talking between themselves and they said, aha, he calls it dollars. It's a line of blessings and he calls it dollars. Each and every one of us has been zeche to giluyim never before in the history of mankind, in the history of the world. We were zeche that the Rebbe Shlita gives to us unparalleled schuyas to be able to bring the word of chsidis, of hafatis hamayonis to each and every person throughout this globe. And the question is, what do we do? What are we doing to be kalim? to be receptacles to receive these blessings, these brachas. Are we taking it so for granted that it becomes a day in, a day out event? The Rebbe says a sikha. After every sikha, the Rebbe gives us dollars and gives us a bracha. Every Sunday morning, thousands of people from throughout the world come to receive the bracha and hashva of the Rebbe. And we sit day in and day out, another mimer, another likit, another mugedik esiche. What are we doing? The Rebbe gives us nu mifzayim, makil kihileis, sidokil le'am. What is our response? It's shnas harboyim. It's Shnas Nisim, in the letter of, of Tishrei, the Rebbe spoke how we, if we are to expect the Nisim, if we want to receive the Brachis, we have to be kailing for the Brachis. We have to act ourselves in a way of Hanhagin Nisis. And what is Hanhagin Nisis? What is demanded of us? The Rebbe said last night in the Sikha, as mit der Fanem in the Welt, and to conquer a world, it is not just one, it is not just a handful, it is not just Shluchim who are throughout the world, 
manning their posts. We cannot do it alone. We need the help of the largest army possible to bring this world to every, this word to every human being. We have to ask ourselves, after a sikha, before we stand in line for a bracha, Machna Chesh bin Hanefesh, what did I do to be Makal Kihilis? What did I do for Tzedakah La'am? How many people in Shnaz Harbaim was I Mephitz Chsidis to? How many people did I give the Likut or the Mimer to? We are living in a city in Chicago where we are not yet Zeche to have Bachrim to come and to help us with all of our events. We don't have our older yeshiva. But yet, a year and a half ago, we decided that every shul in the city should get the Likut Erev Shabbos. That there should not be a Frumish shul throughout the city that would not get it. But how is it possible? Sometimes the Sikha comes just a few hours before Shabbos to print it and to distribute it. How can we do it? But we approached all of Anash and we said, if we need, if we want to do it, we need your help. Please help us. So this one volunteered that he will go every Shabbos and before Shabbos and bring it to this shul. And this one will take two shul and in this one three and this one four and this one five. And Arab Shabbos, straight from work, Balabatim come to the Chabad house to pick up the Sikhis and to bring it to the shul. A lady came into the office a week ago and she said she needs neshek, she needs brochures to give out. And as I was talking to her and giving her the neshek and the brochures and everything, she is telling me, I want you to know, and she came in with her buggy and with her child, and she was filling it up. And I asked her, why are you taking so much? I mean, what are you doing, a special paula? So she says, no, in my buggy, in my carriage, I carry with me all of these things. And I want you to know, I don't know if I have accomplished anything for anyone else, but I have accomplished something for myself. Because before I started going on Mifsayim, I didn't wear a shaitel. But then I thought, how could I approach someone on the street with a brochure, with a message from the Rebbe, and I am not the proper person myself? How can I approach someone else? I decided I must put on a shaitel. I must ask different, I must act differently myself. I must be a Dug Mechai if I am to be in the Rebbe's army. I must act like I'm in the Rebbe's army. It is not my place to come and to tell others what to do. Each of us are certainly doing the best that we possibly can. But in this year of Shnas Har Boyim, we have to reach our potential of being Tmimim. The first one that the Abishta said to be a Tomim was Avram Avinu. But he said to be a Tomim only after he changed from Avram to Avraham with a hay. We can say that we have the potential now to be Tmimim of the ultimate because we have the hay. We have the one Lev Ladas. We have the two Enayim Lirais. And we have the two Aznaim Lishmaya. We have the hay. We have in Shnaz Harbayim the capability of being Tmimim like never before. Let us not miss the opportunity to be and to reach our potential. And it is certain that if we act in a way of Hanhagenesis, we will be benched by Hanhagenesis. And I want to conclude with a story of Hanhagenesis which someone will say that it's an exceptional story, it's out of the ordinary, but I know that it's not exceptional, that it happens all the time, and that all we have to do is follow the Hayra of the Rebbe in a way of Hanhagenesis, and each and every one of us can have it. 
You might have read in the Lubavitch International about the campus that we had bought for our cheder. The Mendel Hattis Gizen, the cheder in Chicago. Safanem, five acres, a beautiful building. We bought it. A year and a half ago, the Sunday after Pesach, there was an auction to buy this building. We had had a meeting beforehand and we were hoping to buy the building on auction for 1.2 or 1.3 million dollars. The Sunday of the auction, one of our shluchim, Melamdim, Reb Sholem Baraitzis was here in, in, here in New York and he went over for dollars and notified the Rebbe again that the auction would take place that day. And the Rebbe told him, Hatzlach Arabe Umuflaga, and made with his hand Umuflaga. We had decided that our top bid would be $1.6 million. We come to the auction, and within literally seconds, the bidding had gone up to 1.6 and to 1.7 million dollars. But we said that Rebbe said, Hatzlach Arabu Muflaga will go on. And it went higher and higher until the bidding closed with our bid of two million dollars. We had put down fifty thousand dollars in order to bid. And within that Friday, by one week, we had to come up with 10%, another $150,000. It was Thursday, and we did not have one cent closer to the $150,000 that we needed for the next day. So we decided to go to a balabos of ours, a varamayid, who had given money to us in the past, and I was hoping that he would give $50,000. I had that hope. We went into him and sure enough he immediately wrote out a check for that amount for fifty thousand dollars. When after he wrote out the check we were very happy on one side but on the other side we needed another hundred thousand dollars and he saw that we were upset and there was something wrong and he didn't expect that to be the reaction. He said what's wrong? He said but tomorrow we need a hundred and fifty thousand not, uh, not fifty thousand. So he said okay I'll arrange for you a bank loan. Where do you bank? I'll arrange a bank loan. Tomorrow morning you'll have the other hundred thousand dollars. I will pay the interest and when you can you'll pay me back. Fine. The next morning we call him up to come and to pick up the check and he says in a terrible voice, he's all upset. He called our bank and how you talking they want this signature and that guarantor and this financial statement and this and that and the other thing a whole list of things he's not used to it he's a big businessman he never is treated that way he said forget about it I'll give you the money and he gave us a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a few months later as we were so under pressure of a tremendous mortgage of a tremendous building. We still didn't know what to do. We had the building, but we had no money to pay for it. Finally, we convinced this man to come to the Rebbe for dollars, as you call it. And Sunday morning, he came to the Rebbe. It was a Sunday before Pesach, shortly, be a few weeks before Pesach. And he came up to the Rebbe and before he could even say anything, he was so taken by the Rebbe that he told the Rebbe that Anem Tafzich is taking upon himself the entire building. The Rebbe told him, Pesach is the Indian von Zrizus, Mizolistan Far Pesach Umita Heisofe. Far Pesach Umita Heisofe hat er gegeben der Geld. Hatzlacharaba Omuflaga, a mitut hanoganisis, klikmin hanoganisis, lakayim.